Hey guys, just want to talk about teaching briefly. Um, the goal of teaching anything is to take the student from where they are to where they want to be. So what we have to look at, first of all, is where are they? And then we look at where they're going and it's how do we do that safely and at an appropriate pace. So if we look at your, your skill level, um, will determine how much of a challenge you can handle. So if you struggle to do a push up on your knees, then giving you a challenge of you know, bench pressing your own body weight or, or something like that, you're gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna go jump straight into this injury risk stage or that you're gonna be uh, anxious about it. Well, I'm not gonna do that because that's gonna hurt, right? So we wanna avoid going into this injury risk anxiety area. So that's where the challenge is too high for the student's skill level. Okay, the opposite of that then is that the challenge is too low for the student's skill level, which means they're bored and they don't grow, they don't develop. So what the, the, the goal of any teacher in any subject anywhere is to get students into this flow state. Now, the challenge that they're set initially, well, you'd hope that the skill level increases, the muscular strength increases, etc., etc. So if we continue at the same level, then we're going into this boredom state. So we're always looking to just gently increase the challenge to match the student's skill level. In groups, you'll find that one student will get this movement immediately, whereas the next student might struggle with it. So the challenge of the teacher is trying to keep a group of people in this flow state. Um, we, we, we manage that challenge mostly by trying to group people together. We have staged system for the martial arts. Um, and we try and keep it to smaller groups. We try and have a ratio of eight to 12 students to one instructor, um, usually. Uh, and that we find is the best way that we can, we can maintain this state. And then by having a series of drills that we have cataloged that we can use. Okay, so if you find that, you know, well, I don't go to the gym and lift weights because I did once and I hurt myself and it hurt for weeks. You lifted wrong, you lifted too much, you jumped from here, the challenge was too high for your skill level, for your muscular uh, development at that time. Okay, uh, and then you look at the same thing when it comes to heart rate, when we look at the cardiovascular training, I don't know if you can see that. When it comes to the cardiovascular training, if you're starting out, we don't wanna jump you straight from zero into high intensity exercises, which is why I get concerned when people tell me, you know, they're unfit, so they're following this super fit six packer on Instagram who can you know jump over buildings or whatever. Um, that, that they're high, high risk because the intensity is too much. So we want to start off gradually and persistently increase. So it's small consistent increases. What I found about the development of strength and development of skill is that patience is what gets rewarded. It's patient persistent activity that you keep improving your skill, improving your skill, not necessarily increasing the weights um, but increasing your skill level. And in doing that, the strength comes up quite nicely. But if you rush, rush, rush and jump straight in the deep end, uh, you're not gonna last very long. You're either gonna get injured or you're just gonna get completely anxious about it and, and, and be unable to continue. Okay, so as I say, the job of any teacher in any subject, anywhere ever, is to keep students in this flow state where the challenge given matches that student's skill level. Okay, nice one guys.